the project that we have finished just now, this is volume two, and in actual fact, the complete chamber works of Paul Herrmann, I have to say has left an impression of, of Herrmann which is completely different to that which I had from, from volume one, from the orchestral works which he completed. What is immediately clear from the solo violin sonata, from the two duos for violin and cello, from the string trio, which we just completed less than 15 minutes ago, and even the two student sketches, the Invenzione, which we also recorded, what is as absolutely clear, and, and I think almost without parallel in the 20th century, is not just the musical depth, the substance, the intonations, of Hungarian folk music that Hermann was ingeniously able to convey in his music. Музика надзвичайно цікава, надзвичайно різноманітна. Кожен твір абсолютно інакший, з, з яких ми писали. Особливо великий дует, я би хотів відзначити, це твір, один з найкращих творів в своєму роді для скрипки і вілончелі. Таких дуетів є дуже мало. А такого, такого рівня можна порівняти хіба що сонатою Равеля, Кода і... sure I'm aware of any major composer who had such an intricate and, and I mean high quality knowledge of the specificities of the violin, the viola and of course his cello. По його музиці можна судити, наскільки це був прекрасний віолончеліст, наскільки це був прекрасний музикант інструменталіст. In the solo violin sonata, there were passages which, if, if you didn't know that this was one violin playing, you would swear that there are two, if not three, people playing simultaneously. What's happening with the bow on the higher strings while he's playing two separate lines of pizzicato, one on the G string, one on the D string, where the left hand is actually the fingers are in conflict with each other. There are three voices going on simultaneously at, at many points. First of all, I was really grateful to get to know this composer, and not just to study, but to be able to record it, to work on this recording process. Probably you can see from my face how much tiring it was, and uh, exhausting. For me personally, it was one of the most difficult work. I'm happy that we did it. I am, now I'm happy that uh, we can say that we had the work, we had complete work of these pieces. And I think I'm looking forward again coming back to his music. The fact that in each of these works, 
not only are they musically of such incredible substance, I feel embarrassed as a string player, as a musician, as somebody who has directed major chamber music festivals. I was not aware of this music. And I don't think anybody was aware of this music until just recently. I have little doubt that the great musical substance and the satisfaction that we as performers had is certainly going to translate through these recordings, which we have just worked on, to a much wider public. Композитор, на мою думку, незаслужено мало виконується, і його музику треба максимально популяризувати. This was a cellist. This was a composer. I speak about Paul Herman, who was highly cultured, highly educated, but most importantly, there was an incredible instinct and a gift from God that most composers, most performers never have. This man was equally talented as a performer as he was as a composer. I have no hesitation in saying that these works must be some of the most substantial works composed for this combination of instruments in the 20th century. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 